Hi guys, once again welcome you all for the CAN Academy. In this video tutorial, I am going to give a short description about introduction on unified diagnostic services. This is a video part 2 and UDS part 1. Yes. In this, first you have to clear about why diagnostics is required. So, this is one of the common question, common and simple question, but the answer might feel difficult for others who are in work as well as going for an interview. Yeah, so why diagnostics is required? Directing failures in cars or any automotive things have been a tedious task because it is a complex machine. Many circuits, many combinations have made a one set of car or automotive any any automotive devices so it is very hard to find a failure so to avoid those kind of uh, tedious tasks they have in implemented many easy use number of easy use for the particular channel for individual things for individual uh, parts they have they have installed the easy use so what is the task of the easy use? simple the easy use is to communicate each other while it is communicating it used to send and receive some set of codes okay so later part will come up come, will come to know about the codes and all so up to now or uh, to directing the failure we have uh, to directing the failure it is a very complex task to avoid the complex task we are using easy use so what is the purpose of easy use is whenever there is a fault detected two things will be happen first one is warning light that is warning light will be uh, blow in the dashboard so the driver can identify that is some problem in somewhere it is existed the second one is code is recorded in the computers e prom that is electrically erasable programmable read only memory so that it can be later retrieved by the technician for diagnostics as well as repair yes so the key to good auto repair lies in troubleshooting yes so why why troubleshooting or for troubleshooting and the diagnostics why this much of uh, easy use have been installed means once you need to uh, repair certain things you have to find the root cause where it is happening so to to minimize the time consumption of uh, finding where the difficulty and the problem is so the dtc's have been easy use have been installed for the dtc recorded yes so this is what the why diagnostics is available in a simple way the diagnostics is to why diagnostics is required the diagnostics is used to just find where the fault is that is called diagnostics then what is uh, what is diagnostics see in word itself it is suggested that identify a root cause for the problem yeah that's why why diagnostics the same i have told all right so what is the core where, where the problem arises and uh, why well, one more another important uh, question is why the codes have been stored in e prom why because uh, the number of codes have been uh, transmitted on received second by second so not all these signals have been have been stored in the same place so that's why it's a e prom is uh, benefited to that you can later also if you want you can retrieve if you don't want you can erase so for that purpose we are using e prom yeah so by followed the what is diagnostics now what is diagnostics protocol uh, the diagnostics protocol refers to a set of rules for communication normally protocol means set of rules for communication the diagnostic protocol means for diagnostic using diagnostics you need to follow some set of pro some set of rules yeah so generally in general automotive industries so people are using can control area network then uds unified diagnostic services lin so these are all the protocols set of rules for uh, making diagnostics then uh, later on uh, come to these uh, unified diagnostic services that is our final part in this video yeah uds the diagnostics protocol this is a uh, it is uh, collectively by the two ISOs. This is just a reference uh, files document. That is uh, the ISO 14229 above one is her uh, current uh, diagnostic service document. Uh, this is uh, people are following. This is an international 
standard this is not a company or a company standard is an international standard and all over the world this is the only thing they're using and uh, this iso 14229 have been derived from iso 142303 and iso 157653 yes so uh, these are uh, these uh, communication protocol used to have uh, the ECUs have used to communicate with the ECUs automatic gearbox anti-lock braking system key controls airbags etc so hope you understood well in this video I have discussed uh, four things so one is uh, what why diagnostics second one is what is diagnostics third is what is diagnostics protocol and what is UDS unified diagnostic services so I'll just uh, give a quick quick uh, revision on these uh, divide diagnostics why diagnostics just to detect the fault to minimize the time while uh, troubleshooting the particular uh, thing then uh, what is diagnostics is to identify the cause of the problem <coughs> then what is diagnostics protocol is a set of rule. protocol is nothing but set of rules diagnostics protocol means set of rules while following doing diagnostics and the unified diagnostic services is is a sort of uh, protocol for the globally following all uh, by the customers like uh, BMW, Benz, Robert Bosch, Ferrari, Lamborghini, etc. So I hope you learned something in this video. Oh, please like and uh, subscribe my channel so you will get more updates. And uh, my upcoming video, next video will be the function name and service ID of the UDS. Yes there are nearly six function and uh, around 25 service ids in the unified diagnostic services so i will uh, give the explanation on function name and service ids of the unified diagnostic service in the next video so don't forget to subscribe please like and share to your friends thank you see you in next video bye bye